Jeep crankbait requires the right gear to truly do it right. A lot of techniques you can get away with all around rods or all around reels, all around combos, but with deep cranking, you've got to have the right gear. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you in depth what my setup is and why I choose it. For anybody new to my channel, I put out a lot of how-to videos, a lot of tackle making videos, and a lot of on the water fishing videos. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'd love it if you subscribe. Now when I'm talking about deep cranking, I'm talking about your big crankbaits, your Cloud9 C25 from Sixth Sense. It gets down to 25 foot. These crankbaits have some weight behind them. They're big crankbaits. They got a lot of drag in them. They've got large bills. And having the right rod is super important. So the rod that I choose in this presentation is the Sixth Sense Lux model, eight foot heavy cranking rod. It's a heavy action with a mod fast flex that can also handle baits up to two ounces. This rod was specifically designed for the Cloud9 C25, the C20, the Magnum Square Bills, and the Crush 500 Double D. Each of these features is super important to your deep cranking. The heavy action in this rod is going to allow you to be able to handle these heavier, larger crankbaits that get down super deep. You're also going to want that heavy action with that backbone to be able to get good hook penetration when you do do get that bite. You're not always going to feel everything really well, so you're going to want that heavy action to do some of the work for you. And this mod fast flex is also going to help you when it comes to keeping those fish hooked. That mod fast action is also going to help you to keep those hooks in the fish because if you have too stiff of a rod when you're deep cranking, you're going to end up pulling those hooks out of the fish and losing that fish altogether. So you want to have a little bit of backbone to get good hook penetration, but you also want that flex in order to be able to fight that fish, have that rod do a little bit of the work for you, have a little bit of play in there to make sure that those hooks stay pinned in that fish. So moving into the reel, the reel is also really important when it comes to your deep cranking. I like to go with the Daiwa Tatula SV in the 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. I really like that 6 3 to 1 gear ratio because if I have a higher gear ratio, I really feel like I start to work the bait too fast. And with that 6 3 to 1, it allows me to slow down to keep that bait in the strike zone for a little bit longer. A lot of times these fish like that bait moving a little bit slower in the water and I find that that 6 3 to 1 allows me to have the best of both worlds. It allows me to slow down enough to keep in the strike zone for as long as possible but for those rare occasions when I do need to speed that crankbait up I can reel it faster and it's not so slow like some of your 5 to 1 gear ratios or 5 3 to 1 something like that. So this 6 3 to 1 is the perfect middle ground. It allows me to slow down when I need to and it also allows me to speed up when I need to. And once again, casting distance comes up in the reel conversation as well. You want to be able to bomb cast these things out there and a good quality reel is going to help you do that. So find a reel that you're going to be able to cast a mile and has that 6 3 to 1 gear ratio and you're going to be very happy. It's going to help you get the most out of your crankbait. Line is another key element when it comes to your deep cranking. Typically, I'm either using Seaguar or Sunline. I like the Seaguar and Vizex in the Sunline FC Sniper. Right now, I got 15 pound fluorocarbon on my deep cranking reel right now. I am considering going to that 12 pound just to get a little bit more depth out of my crankbait, but one thing that you need to make sure of is you have fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon sinks, so you're gonna be able to get maximum depth out of your crankbait. Mono and braid float, so it's gonna keep you from getting max depth out of your crankbait, and that's why I'm deciding to maybe try around with that 12 pound test because it's gonna get me a little bit more depth out of my crankbait. One thing to note when you are fishing that 12 pound test, if that's something that you wanna try, you need to be paying attention to your line constantly. You're gonna get nicks in your line when cranking. You need to be paying attention to your line in all situations, but if you go down to that light 12 pound test for deep cranking, you need to be checking your line constantly because there's nothing worse than getting that bite and then the line breaking all because you weren't paying attention and you didn't prepare properly. Let's talk the actual crankbait itself. I like the Six Sense Cloud9 C25 for my deep cranking. I've caught tons of fish on it. I have tons of confidence in those crankbaits. I love all the different color schemes and a couple of my favorite colors are Wild Shad, Lavender Citrus, Shad Scales, and Jank Juice. Those are by far my favorite colors. You can go crazy when it comes to colors with Sixth Sense. They have everything that you can imagine. They have everything that you need to dial in your specific lake, whether it's got dirty water or clear water. Sixth Sense has awesome colors that are gonna suit your needs. Guys, it would be awesome if you went and bought some of these products, but basically use this video as your guide to buying deep crankbait products. The reasons why I'm using that rod, the reasons why I'm using the reel, the reasons why I'm going with that line, and then also picking quality crankbaits that are gonna be able to meet your needs, whether it's forage based or watercolor based, you gotta pick the right colors for your specific situations. And if you guys wanna learn more about crankbait fishing in general, make sure to click the link in the description for another video, or you can click the crankbait video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.